G'day lawn hubbers. I definitely need to work on something else. G'day fans of the lawn. I don't know. G'day people of the grass. Anyway, the intro is not that important. Don't listen to what anyone else says on YouTube. I'm mowing my lawn again today and so I'm going to keep it brief because um, there's only a few twisted people that enjoy watching me mow my lawn for half an hour. Um, last time I mowed my lawn I talked to you about how disappointed I was. Uh, I'm not much happier than I was then. Um, I believe that the dog that it belongs to my in-laws has been pissing in new areas and so now I've got a Dalmatian lawn instead of just a you know localized issue. So things that are concerning me at the moment that I want to deal with, I have dichondra growing into my lawn, I have a lot of dead patches, I have no growth and the area down the side of the pool isn't getting any better. The upside about all of this, oh, that's interesting, there's thongs and PVC fittings on top of my shed. Hmm. Anyway, it's 28 today in South Australia, 28, that's degrees Celsius, um, so it's beautiful. So we've got one day of growing season. Um, so I'm going to mow it, we fertilised, uh, I think Max's video should go up before this one, he fertilised it the other day with some mini pill, I'm, I'm not sure what the dose was, I think it was half dose and we gave it probably 15 or 18 mil of water that day, um, it's been watered again this morning uh, and I'm just going to ease back on the water and today I won't be watering anymore for a couple of days, um, it's quite damp and just give it a chance, Celeste my wife's been out here weeding today. Uh, and we, you know, for any of you that have watched a lot of the videos, you'll notice that the yard needs a bit of work. So we're just doing those finishing touches. The only thing I'm a bit concerned about is the dichondra in the garden beds. I'm probably going to rip it out. Uh, I know a lot of people love it, but it is so invasive and it's growing into the lawn. Or I'll just let it go and then we'll just cylinder mow dichondra. Maybe that's never been done before. Anyway, today. The tools of the trade will be the Scott Bonner 20 inch unicorn combined with the uh, steel rotary scissors, still cranking along. I do have my Makita battery operated uh, tool coming, uh, so we'll have a bit of a play with that when it gets here, but for now it's just a quick mow. Um, I'm not adding anything to the lawn, and it's okay, and that's fine. So, yeah. Um, if you've got any questions or you want us to address anything in any of the videos just put it in the comments if you don't mind um, we don't really know what's working and what's not um, obviously uh, we're moving into a season where there won't be much growth we're planning um, for the future we, we've got um, I guess we're getting ready for spring now so if there's any videos that you would like to see around the business side of it then I'm happy to talk about that um, if not I'll just mow my lawn once a fortnight and put a video up and you can enjoy that We'll see. All right, so uh, I'm obviously filming this on my own again. Uh, you'll get the gist. But uh, Magsy Pool started this first time the other day. Uh, I'm a bit concerned now because uh, I don't remember what I'm doing. All right, now I do. All right, cool. All right, so I tried to mow, uh, or try to edge away some of that dichondra. Uh, I'm a bit concerned that now I've just put dichondra all through my grass. I think dichondra must be a, um, what do they call it? Uh, like Kaikuyu, where it, uh, rhizomus. Um, so I've just chopped all that off, because it was just kind of shading the, I probably need to do a bit better job there. It's just shading the lawn, uh, and it's kind of growing in the lawn. So I think I showed you this the other day. All of this here, all this dichondra is all in the lawn. Um, I'm gonna try and poison it. I think I might even just cut that square out uh, and just delete all of that, and I don't know. It amuses me how much time we spend on this. Like, you, you just, I guess I'm not from a turf background. I'm from a 
business background and I fell into turf because it's part of what I do. It's just always something and you kind of get to, a, I don't know, if, I'm assuming there's greenskeepers around the world that just get to a point that just go, why, why fight it anymore? Like, why not just let the dichondra grow in or why not just go artificial? Ooh, no, don't go artificial. Anyway, I'm going to try and rake or um, I don't know, I don't have my blower here either because I had an event at um, Water Pro and I left it there. So I'll give it a quick mow, see if we can maybe do a different pattern. I don't even know what I'm doing there either. So uh, I just mowed a snail shell or a spiral or a yeah, spiral um, and unless it's because the sun's not in the right spot it didn't work and I'm a failure. You can actually still see some of the stripes but who knows maybe the sun will move and then it will be better. I'm done. Um, thanks for watching. I hope that was enjoyable. Um, You know what I'm gonna do? If you wanna buy something online right now and you manage to get this far into the video, I'm gonna set up a discount code of Snail Trail. S-N-A-I-L-T-R-A-I-L. -I -I It'll give you 10% off store-wide for a week. Um, but don't comment that in the comments. I wanna see if anyone sees it and uses it. And actually, I'm going to make it 15% off. That's it.